Skirte, Skirte, Mordosa, BBC, Utah. We'll be inbound to Luke Piers in about 20 minutes. You're headed for Cargill B1. Again, Skirte, Skirte, Skirte. Motor vessel BBC Utah inbound Duluth Piers in about 20 minutes. We headed for Cargill B1, standing by on 16 and 13. Motor vessel BBC Utah. There you go, Bridge. See you there. Thanks again. Pleasure, Cap. Hopefully, the next time you go out, it'll be better. You've got to earn your money one way or another. Copy that. I call the aerial bridge BBC Utah. Mile and a half out. Yeah, Cap. We'll get things started here. Thanks for the call. Skirte, 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 Motor Vessel BBC Utah will be inbound to Luke Beers in five minutes. Be turning in the harbor off of buoy number two and backing into the Cargill B1. Again, Skirte, Skirte, Skirte. Motor Vessel BBC Utah inbound to Luke Beers in five minutes. Be turning in the harbor by buoy number two on left wheel, backing into Cargill B1. Standing by on 13 and 16 for any concern traffic. BBC Utah. Good to see you finally come in, Utah. Yeah, it should be on 18. Yeah, got you loud and clear. Okay, real good. Are uh, you thinking you want to throw your line up right now? Yeah, I'm just getting back here, taking a look at things. Okay. Yeah, we'll get our line set up. Yeah, you catch that, Nate? I'm getting up there to send my line up. Hey, Russ. How are you making out, Chip? We're just running it right now. Okay, Roger that. I'm going to back on her here and just lose a little bit of speed. Yeah, could you hold off a second here? All right, we're all set. Okay, Roger. Yeah, I'm just kind of, we're going slow here. I'm just dropping in behind you. Let me know when you want me to start bringing her over. Okay, Roger that. We'll let her swing around here a little more. Yeah, I can start helping with the swing anytime. All right, Chip, you can uh, start working the stern over there. All right, start bringing the stern around a little bit and towards the dock once we clear them rocks. Roger. This one's going to set us down. Yeah, I'm just uh, kind of letting you uh, drop by and I'll catch her. Yeah, I just got the weight of the tug over here, so I'll slow it down. Yeah, Roger. Just got a real easy angle away from the 
dock and uh, real easy pressure. Okay, Roger. Yeah, I'm straight behind you right now. Uh, looks like she's uh, heading the other way on you. Yeah, she is. Yeah, favoring the dock here. Favoring the dock. Just working you easy. She's slowly creeping, it looks like. Yep. Yeah, it looks like we're lined up for about 15 on the corner and closing. You can get right by it behind me. Yep, yep. I'm uh, just getting slack in my line so I can jump over and hold you up. We'll try it again. Just let the weight of the tug hold you away. Looks like we're shooting for about uh, 8 to 10 feet off the corner. All right. And you ready to start favoring the back again. Open to about 12 to 15. Yeah, I'm just going to tell you, it looks like she's going the other way. Let's have a little bit more current than wind. And I'm in a good spot if you want to do a slower down. Yep. I keep favoring towards that dock there. I'm giving her a kick. All right, favor towards the dock. I see she's starting to come. I'll ease up a little bit, but I'll keep favoring your dock. How's that? Roger. The seats are on the dock. I'll give you a spot. Do that.